All right. I was I was down in the dumps for a while. I was almost in enemy territory, but you know what? We brought it back. We're, we're almost at 85, and you guys gotta be proud of me because it has been a wild ride, and I've I've had a roller coaster adventure here. And I'm a huge fan of roller coasters, but this ain't my this this ain't my type of roller coaster right here. This is like a Vacoma, and I'm more of a an Intamin uh, B and M type of guy. Which it's funny, those sound like bondage, but they are actually <laughs> names of roller coaster manufacturers. I swear. Um, and yeah, this the, <laughs> this world ride has been like a Vacoma roller coaster. So anyone who's like a roller coaster nerd will like get that joke, which is probably not many of you, but they're like the roughest roller coasters that exist. And because uh, like I love roller coasters, but I don't love all roller coasters. I only I'm only into some roller coasters. You know what I mean? And I just realized this is seven laps, so I'm just gonna bullet ahead here, and hopefully we get a bam shock dodge. Because I'm really nope, never mind. Well, I just flew over that dirt. That was awesome. Dude, dude, yikes! So, um, if you guys haven't noticed, this track has an insane speed mod, and I hope I hope you noticed because. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't, there's something wrong with you. You probably already haven't seen much Mario Kart. In fact, this is the first time you've ever watched Mario Kart. I think it's better if I go backwards here. If somebody steals this mushroom, I'm going to be the saddest person in the world. And the reason why I went backwards is because I was small anywhere, so I wasn't going anywhere, like, at all if I didn't go back. Lap 6. This is where, uh... Where dreams come to die, right here, lap six. Lap seven. This is where dream beco dreams become memes, guys. Please don't get shocked again. Please don't get shocked again. Thank the Lord. Oh, okay, okay, we're okay with that. That was ideal shocking rounds and we're getting third alrighty <laughs> the key for Mario Kart guys is a positive mindset even when you're mad and you exert all these negative emotions if you get them out don't break your controllers but you it's okay to get them out but you got to be able to calm yourself after and just shake it off and forget about the last race that's the key because Mario Kart's a game it's very easy to get tilted in because it's like uh, it's got a lot of luck, you know? It's not a complete skill game. There's there's items and there's other people who will decide, their decisions will influence how lucky or unlucky you get. Like, uh, take a game like Catan. Catan has skill, but there's dice rolls. That's kind of like the item roulette. And then there's people who decide to trade with you and there's people who don't decide to trade with you just because they hold a grudge or it doesn't benefit them. And it's the same way with people throwing items at you and holding items, you know? Some people are like, oh, like, uh, that guy, I, uh, I don't like how he just gold mushroom past me, even though there's someone, um, th there'll be someone right in front of him for 30 seconds and he won't throw the red, but the second someone reds, so someone goldens past him, he'll throw that red shell. And like, you know, you can't predict people's, uh, people's mindsets too much. You gotta, um, cause I mean, you don't know anybody. Generally you don't know anybody you're playing against in real life. So it's, it's, it's really tricky. There, there's a lot of uh, factors here that you don't have control over when you play Mario Kart. You have control over your items you use, but not the items you get. You have control over how you, how you race, but you don't have control over how other people race against you. So it's, it's really just a game that um, you can never, you can't always get first. It's, it's not like Smash Bros where um, if you guys know like Armada or Zero, they'll always pretty much win because they're the best in the world for their games, uh, Smash Wii U and Melee. But Mario Kart's never gonna be like that. I compare it like more to poker almost, you know, where um, you can have, or you can even compare it to Smash 4, which is funny. Smash 4 has such insane results. And I had no, I had no idea that turn would be that sharp. But uh, yeah, because there's some luck involved, you're, you're never going to have insanely consistent results with the players. Like even the best players ever in Mario Kart, like um, you're 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 finishing like in Clan Wars, you'll average like 100 points, you know, which still means there's 180 total points in a Clan War, for example, and you'll average like around 100. So um, okay, I guess my banana didn't work. Uh, 
uh, yeah, so, so long story short, um, you can't win every race no matter how good you are, because the game has too much luck. So you, you can't get tilted, because if you get tilted, you're going to play worse, you're going to make worse decisions, you're going to race worse, you're going to think the whole world's against you, and it's really easy to get in that mindset when you have a couple unlucky races. But um, it will even out, and as long as you don't take it too personally when other people hit you, when when they obviously weren't targeting you, they're ju they just were trying to get a TC off their back, you know, um, then you'll do you'll do better. That's like the number one, like that's like the number one advice I have for Mario Kart, and people will say the same about a lot of things, but it really rings true to Mario Kart um, because the game can be so rage-inducing and. People uh, sometimes the only thing holding them back is themselves, and that's a super cliche uh, statement, but there is some truth to it. And right now, I am uh, struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling, guys. Th there's like a little shortcut over here, but I'm like I'm way too not into taking that. See? Okay, so look at that. That seemed like a totally, uh, I, I had every reason to be mad right there, because I was in seventh after doing not much wrong just because of circumstances, but I, uh, didn't get, to, I didn't get triggered, and I ended up pulling an item that gave me the, the chance to catch up, and if I would have been in a bad mood right there, I could have so easily messed up that golden out of rage and fell off or hit another racer, like I could have hit the guy with his triple greens, and I would have gotten like ninth place, but because I, uh, you know, I persevered and I uh, didn't get triggered. I was able to get a good placement and uh, salvage the race, salvage my VR. What is this track? I have no idea what track we're playing right now. Um, I have no idea still. I just looked at the meme out. Oh no, no, it's Big Nature City or something like that, right? Pretty sure it's Big Nature City. We're on 150cc, and there's a shortcut right here. Nice. And there's another one right here. Guys, I know my shortcuts. I know my shortcuts. If there's three things that are consistent in uh, in life, it's uh, it's uh, death, taxes, and Troy taking shortcuts. Whoa, that scenery just changed very suddenly. Alright, so um, I am totally good at playing the first half of this track. I am totally horrific at playing the second the second half. I don't think I'm going to go down any um, any alleyways uh, like I did previously where I just... Uh, I, think, I think I played this track one other time and I, um, I, I went straight right there and I just fell off the edge. I'm not going to do anything that silly because I have played this track before, but I'm also going to struggle on these upcoming sections just because I'm not too familiar with them. Um, there's one pretty sketchy area coming up and it is very easy to get... Um... Whoops, didn't expect that car to turn like that. Um, it, it's very easy to hit the walls. Pretty sure I go this way. Yeah. Save myself there, okay. Yeah, right here, this part is sketch. Um, I, need, I need a bullet, no. <laughs> Relying on the bullet bullet. Yeah, see, okay, I, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm not too scared anymore, guys. You know what we need right now? We need to take a shortcut. Where are the shortcuts at? Right here, right? No! Donkey Kong! You gotta be a little faster, dude! Uh... I have the shock. I will wait for the guy's bullet to end, because I'm in that sort of mood right now. Then I will use the shock. Oh man, I almost got the low trick. Honestly, I really wish I, I had a golden to cut all that, because that was uh, an area where I could have really benefited from a speed item with all that off road. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't know. I'm a lost cause at this point. I even used the shock, and I'm still miles behind. But you don't give up. Like I said, you don't give up. I, I can maybe get like 6th place this race, and that's so much better than last. Alright, a bullet. We still have um 6 or 7 more turns here, so... 
force. Oh, whoa! I didn't even know about this route. I wonder if this route's faster. Like, I've seen it on the mini map, but I've never taken it, you know what I mean? Okay, what are the chances of that? No one is even near me for miles, and that just happens. <laughs> and now, I don't know where to go. <laughs> okay, guys, we're getting last this race. There's no there's no way to, uh, to slice it besides the fact that we're getting last here. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Mushroom Peaks. You know what? I'm gonna win this race. I'm over I'm over what happened last race. That was so stupid. That track is not friendly to new players. There's so many weird routes, and apparently one route's way faster than the other. So um, I didn't even know that. The bullet took it for me on lap two. But uh Yeah, not friendly to new players. I'm not a fan of that. I always I always want the tracks to be friendly to new players. <laughs> This one, however, like, I can accept the fact that it's one of the first tracks ever made, and it, it, it never should leave CTGP. It's too iconic to CTGP. The last one, though, is dead to me. Ah. Uh, I think I'm going to probably respawn on the mushrooms, which is rough. Ooh, another shock dodge. It's the only way I dodge shocks, guys, <laughs> is by respawning. It's so sad. Come on, why didn't that work? That always works. We're not far enough behind right now where I will actually get screwed. This guy, this guy's just targeting me. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, look at it. He's literally waiting to red shell me. That's so lame. Come on, dude. I thought you were cool. You uh, disappoint me. I was I was talking positive about you in like another uh, video um, not too long ago, like earlier this week, and now you're just targeting me, man. That's not cool at all. And uh, for any people who are um, for any people who troll me, I I I am able to kick anyone out who does that. So. Um, I know a lot of you are worried with the people who are actually going backwards to hit me, and I, I'm, I can get them banned just by telling people I want them banned, so um, I do do that when people go backwards to hit me. I haven't done it for anyone who's just still racing, because like, I don't want to. I don't want to use that power too much. It's a little bit of a, like, uh, it's a little bit much um, to be able to just ban anyone I want, but um, if I have to, I will. I have no idea how to do this section. Ah, okay. Hopefully it puts me at the end. No, it puts me all the way back here. Oh my gosh, this track is so harsh. Jesus. And then this part's impossible. I could do it with Funky Kong, but you know what? It might be 100cc. I don't see us getting first, but we could still get like... Honestly, we can still get second. Like, that's, that's not out of the question right now. It was going to take too much for us to get first. You know what? No, no, no. First isn't out of the question. I could, like, I could do the shortcut lap three. I could, like, magically pull it off. But it, it is 150cc. I am looking at the speedometer. Hopefully I don't regret using that mushroom. Bomb. Alright. Don't land on the boost panel. Good, good, good. That could have been so much worse, guys. That could have been so much worse. No! Speaking of so much worse... We're, we're diving off here. There's no point in continuing. Dude. Yes, I got the respawn. Thank you.
Yes! Never give up. Even when he probably should. But look, we're in fourth. We can get third right here. Oh, dude. <laughs> we're both going for each other's jugular. Oh, man. I'm such an idiot. I, uh, you know what? It's okay, guys. We missed that box, but that box was a thundercloud. I'm sure of it. I can't let him red me, but now I'm gonna get red it anyway. Oh, yes! That was clutch. That was so clutch, guys. That guy's gonna get blue, like, at the very end. That's so rough, man. It's so rough. Third? Third! Third! Oh, yes! Five minute race. <laughs> No! Alright guys, we just disconnected and lost 300 VR when we already finished the race and got third place, so we're done. I'm sorry it had to end that way. Uh, Mr. Bean, if you can fix it so you don't lose VR when you disconnect, that would be the greatest thing ever because like, I understand disconnections are going to happen, but like... Losing 300 after I get third place is just so demoralizing. And like, come on, like, no one wants to lose VR when they disconnect. That's just like, it's already bad enough when you actually disconnect. So, yeah, guys. But thank you for watching the video. That was a really awesome session. Lots of crazy races. Some of the best races of the entire series were in that session. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's it. That's all I got. Comment below what your favorite track was that we played in this session. And, uh, Thank you for watching as always.